People are fascinated by what goes on inside of a piece of technology. There are things that we know fans love, things that we love, and there are happy accidents all mixed in. With the Phantom series, we're basically celebrating what makes these things tick. I am Monique Chatterjee, and I'm the design director for Xbox Special and Limited Editions. Today, we're going to talk about Phantom Magenta. We are bringing the Phantom series into full color. Usually, when we design a series, um, I think through a number of colorways up front. So I sort of have them all lined up and have an idea of the way that I want to launch them and how I want to make the first one awesome and then bring something new to the second one and then the third one's even better. You know, I just always make sure that the rollout is kind of additive. It's pretty cool to see it all packaged up, ready to go, ready to be presented. The way that the color rolls through this product is pretty magic because it starts as almost black, kind of with a magenta tint and rolls up to a translucent, very light magenta plastic. But underneath is actually a metallic pop of magenta. So as you roll it around in the light, you kind of see the metallic nature underneath. We've done the, the paint gradient that I, that I talked about that kind of goes to the pink resin, but then the magic of it is actually happening underneath. This plastic part, which is usually black, has been painted a chromy metallic pink. And that is what you see through the top case. And that's what sort of brings the magic to the color and gives it all its uh, depth. This whole idea of exposing the insides like this actually came about when I was working on Sea of Thieves controller. It was a translucent purple and it's back painted. When you look through the translucence, you sort of see this metallic sheen and it kind of gives you the effect of looking into deep murky water. And back when we were mocking up how to do this, we had a version where we just had the translucent purple top case and we had the silver paint on the mechanical parts inside. When we set the top on, it wasn't really the right character for Sea of Thieves, but it was super interesting. So we put it aside, kind of cataloged it, and then brought it back out into the Phantom series. First, we had Phantom Black and then Phantom White. The Phantom series is about kind of revealing the precision within the controllers. We've gotten a lot of feedback through the years that people love translucent. We love translucent too, but we wanna make sure that we always do it in a new, fresh, interesting way. We have a lot of history with it. I brought the old green Duke controller with me. This is an artifact, a relic of the past. This is like an original controller that we did it was first launched in black, but it actually came out as part of a dev kit in translucent green. So super low run, not mass market, just for kind of industry insiders, developers, coders. We really wanted to bring it into the special edition lineup in a really interesting and new way. We're kind of mixing a bit of luxury in with the tech sci-fi story. And it's really a new aesthetic for us. And what I mean by a, a bit of luxury is the metallic D-pad and the metallic gradient fade that then sort of brings you up and slowly in a really mysterious way reveals what's inside. We are adding to the series by bringing it in color. The other part of the story goes back to the Shadow series. It's really inspired by nature, by sunsets and super surreal skies, beautiful color gradient fades. And we wanted to kind of continue that thought but do it in a, in a new way. So we sort of married it with the translucent and got this new aesthetic from it. Certain colors are really polarizing. Certain colors always do really well. I think magenta is a new one for us that does really well. The way people approach and accept color has changed quite a bit in the last five years or so. I mean, color's color, right? It's just color. <laughs> people should just own what they love.